So here we're going to create our servers here, this is the Ubuntu server. We have our different machines here, and another network that we're going to talk about. And then we have our Windows Server 2016. Later in another video and show you how can we integrate this in this network. Let's log into a Ubuntu server. Alright. Uh, let me arrange this. Let's find the terminal. Let's go ahead and do sudo apt get update. Now, before that, let's show you that I actually connect to the ping. This is because of the NAT on uh, GNS3. Let's do sudo app get update. Type our password. sudo app install isc dhcp servers that so we do yes then we install it okay cd.exe let's change directories let's find what we have here instead of doing this we are actually going to move the dhcp.com dhcp.com backup, we're going to create a backup, we have to do sudo first. Then we do, we have to create our file. Once we create our file, we go ahead and type our information that we need to create our DHCP server. So we have our subnet, a netmask, a range that we want to create, IP address, our router, gateway, uh, subnet mask, the IP domain server. When we close down, we save this. Let's configure a static IP address into the R server. One nine two one six eight dot one dot two five four. Then a subnet mask. Our gateway. Do a DNS, which is the same thing as our gateway. Open it uh, on and off. Let's do an IP config to verify that we have a static IP. Yes, we do. Okay, perfect. Let me do a sudo system ctl to restart isc dhcp dot I mean server dot service and then let's do a um, status check see if it's up it's not up it's failed let me verify why it failed get out of here let's do a lslh let me verify that that's the file name yes let's do a gedit sudo gedit dhcp dot com okay so something is wrong here Hmm. Okay, let me double check. Mm -hmm. Okay, so subnet mass. I think there's a dash there. Yep, let's try that. Let's do sudo uh, op arrow key, op arrow. Okay, it's active now. Alright, perfect. So let's go ahead and assign. And I um, go to our jump into our Windows machines here. Let's start up our Ubuntu. See which one boots up first. Do an IP config. Okay, that's not the right IP address. Let's do IP config slash release. IP config slash renew. And we should see there you go. Dot one dot fifty. Let's do our terminal. Do sudo do IP address. Okay, sudo link set down. So we turn it down. Now up. Let's do IP address again. We see that we have dot fifty one, and let's do our Kali Linux machine. 
So we have dot fifty dot fifty one and let's see what IP address is assigned to this Kali Linux. Scroll up. And there we go, it's dot fifty two. So we have uh DHCP has signed the IP addresses here. Let's go back to Kali and do an Nmap scan, see what shows up. Okay, so we have different ports open, SSH, Telnet. Okay, we have our, okay, we have a MAC address, we have our DP. We have different things uh, open that we shouldn't, but Let's verify that later.